This is Travis Scott, and I got him to sign my brand new pair of Jumpman Jacks at Complex Con Las Vegas, or should I say Cactus Con, guys. I'm super hyped. We just walked in, but I gotta say, everything started yesterday, and it was pretty crazy because we met Travis. So I'm gonna show you guys a little intro to our trip from yesterday. Started the trip off on a good start, so let's recap that real quick. All right, y'all, we just got to Vegas. It is freezing cold, but we are walking to our first event of the weekend. Jordan Brand invited us to the Jumpman Jack like outpost outpost they literally reached out to me yesterday invited us for a friends and family early access it opens to the public at 8 but they're giving friends and family from 7 to 8 to come check it out and we weren't planning to come till tomorrow but once we got the invite we had to just pull up and we had to be outside we had to be outside so we're here complex con is going to be literally right there at the convention center starting to trip off strong with this uh travis event see what happens man hopefully we get these shoes right now i know the line is crazy but shout out to jordan brand for the uh friends and family access came and talking like running out of breath it's so cold what's up y'all how y'all doing y'all good So we are in line to get the T-Rex Travis Scott. You can only get it if you have the pur a purple wristband. So y'all see that right there. So we should be good. Show them the, 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 the purple wristband, bro. You gotta let them know, Purple man. wristband purple gang. Purple wristband gang, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a crazy event so far, and they haven't even let the public get it. It's literally just friends and family yes, all sir. over there. Once we made it inside of the domes, we were able to purchase the Jumpman Jack Dark Mochas. They also had a bunch of apparel and this really cool display. And then once we left the domes that's when travis and his whole team rolled up i even got a shot of him walking into the dome before he started his shopping and then when they came out this happened thank you one more one more thank you brother let's go let's go hell yeah hell yeah let's go let's go let's see let's see yours let's see yours yeah. <laughs> okay. Bruh, holy crap. Travis, we literally timed it perfect. He pulled up. We met Travis! <laughs> Hey, shout out to him because he brought the Sharpie. Yes, sir. Oh, he brought the, the Sharpie. Sharpie. He was ready. He was ready. Hey, Travis touched it, bro. I don't get credit for video. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Mina. Mina got, yeah, yeah. got the fire video. Wow. Come on now. Mina got the fire video. Yeah, basically, we timed it perfectly, and it, it just worked out. All right, y'all. So, crazy way to start out Complex Con weekend. What are the freaking chances? First of all, we weren't even going to come until tomorrow morning. The game plan was to, you know, we just got back from Dubai. We were like, you know what? We don't need to be in Vegas until Saturday morning. Yesterday, we got the email from Jordan Brand about this event today, and I was like, you know what? I just have a feeling that I can't miss this. Like, content wise, it's gonna be crazy. I didn't know if we were gonna get any sneakers. I didn't know what was gonna go down. I had no idea Travis was even gonna pull up. Yeah, it was just crazy, bro. Yeah, we bought the shoes and we were about to leave, and they were like, you know, let's just hang out. And then they made an announcement that, what, a convoy? A convoy is coming, and there was like that big ass open area with all the ATVs and stuff. He gets in and they go into the, the domes, and I got like a video of him walking into the dome, and I was like, all right, cool. Like, I got a video of him that was cool enough. But then I was like, you know what? What? If he's going in from there, he's coming out the other end. We waited right there, and then as soon as Travis came out, he put out his shoe first. Travis looked at it like he was analyzing it, and then he started to sign it. And then as soon as he started signing it, I threw mine over, and I was like, yo, one more, one more. And then he signed mine, and he like actually held the shoe and took his time with it. Like I've seen him sign other people's shoes, and he just kind of scribbles on it, or he'll do like a line, and it kind of looks weird. He did a legit like smiley face. So it it's a, the smiley face. It's that smiley face right there, but Travis is quick signature version of it i'm assuming right crazy way to start off this weekend i still have to check into my hotel which is the travis scott vip package which i'm supposed to get another shoe hopefully it's not this shoe if nothing else crazy happens this weekend i'm good i'm chilling we got travis's signature on a on his shoe too not for sale y'all not for sale all right y'all 7 30 a.m vip is allowed in at 9 a.m so i'm trying to get here early there's a lot of people but there's no like crazy line let's go check out the vibes man i'm trying to come early to get some of the cactus jack stuff then i'm gonna go back into my room and change because i'm literally just in like bummy clothes right now and it's complex con so you really got to show out with the clothing you know what i mean so anyway yeah we're here let's go check out the vibes well. Yo, 
the battle let us in and people started cutting, so fights breaking out, y'all. Fights breaking out. Average tactics, not experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My G. Oh, well, man. How are you? Been emailing. Yeah, yeah. How is yeah, everything? About the brand. Good, yes, man. sir. Hey, y'all. So they just let us in. Gotta go to the Cactus Jack section. I wanna get a few of the collabs. They got some crazy stuff. Like, I'm gonna put the list on the screen. But WWE, Oakland Raiders, or sorry, Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah, let's go. I don't know where I'm going right now. Where the hell is the venue? Oh my God, it's already so packed in here. Look, Complex Gone, Concrete Boys. But we gotta go all the way back there. All right, so I'm going straight to the uh, Travis Scott section. They just let us in. 40 minute delay, bro. What was the point of paying for VIP? And they're not even letting us in early. They got the Cactus Jack car right here. Got the brown G-Wagon right there. All right, guys, so Nike has displayed every single Travis Scott in this, like, hallway right here. I'm lucky that I've been here before at all the craziness, so I literally have this thing to myself right now. But look, PlayStations, yo, and I think this is his personal pair because this looks like it's worn, yo. This literally looks like it's worn. They have the purple friends and family. But look, okay, first pair was the Air Force One from Complex Con. The Field Trainers, Velvets. They got the Field Jacks right here, and then this is, I think these are dropping this weekend. This is actually super dope that they did this, man. I gotta get snap videos of this now, too. All right, y'all, so we're in the Nike booth. Luckily, there's like nobody in here. They have the 3D printed Air Max 1000s. Look at these right here, bro. These are insane to look at in person. They have a bunch of colorways. So these are like a men's nine. As you guys can see, lighting might not be the best, but it says made in Germany, because this is made through a company called Zellerfield, which is like top tier when it comes to 3D printing sneakers. But look, it even has that air unit with the 3d printed shoe obviously the air unit it's not going to be 3d printed but look you got the white pair right here the black pair goes crazy because they did the green classic green air max air bubble that's super sick i really like the orange one the orange one is sick look at that air on the back really cool really stretchy too like it's not stiff at all and then the blue one right here look at this blue pair this one is so beautiful it like pops and they actually it's really cool because the displays like show you the whole process like look at that the whole process of the shoe getting 3d printed up until the final design so nike killed it and hold on they're actually 3d printing a shoe right now at the event the lighting is kind of bad right here but look at this literally if you could see it my reflection is kind of covering it but they're literally 3d printing the shoe as we speak all right now i want to see where i can buy one of these i don't think you could buy one that'd be sick if you could though but they have some type of game right here so we're going to see what that does sorry oh come on bro guys did you spin yeah i got nothing what can you win you can you get the shoe Really? Yeah, they're not, they're not yeah, selling them yet, bro. Damn. Oh, I know. We can only try once? You can only try once. Damn, bro. Mina, they have the NBA essential stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, I like this, but there's no freaking front pouches. I hate that. That sucks. Oh, they have the team ones over there. Let's see if they have Warriors. Lakers, Bulls, Knicks. Damn. See, if I wear this, my gut is going to get hugged. It's nice, though. I like that, yeah. But there's no Warriors. Everybody's wearing jerseys backwards, man. Playboy Cardi got the movement. Oh, yeah, he's performing tonight. That's why. Oh, it makes sense. I didn't even know. Got to put two and two together. What's up, brother? How are you? Good, good. How's everything? You should have brought your son, man. I love, I love when you post this. Stuff. Like it's so funny, bro. Vegas, the last time with him, it was a blast. I know he likes Fortnite. Fortnite, all the Travis Scott. Like, yeah. Talks about Travis oh Scott. really? Yeah. No, I that's... saw you got it signed yesterday. Dude, Did crazy. You waited out in line yesterday for a while, or no? Jordan Brand invited me to come to the event, so we bought the shoe, and then they're like, "Oh, Travis is coming." So they were selling them there. Yeah, the they were selling. Bro, if the first thousand people got a shoe, so after seven hundred, they're like, "Oh, you could buy two pairs." Crazy. Yeah, so people are buying multiple. Though. They uh, still have them. I, I think. I want to get a pair of them, but I don't know when. Where. I think they're gonna do it again today. Really? So yeah. they're sick. They, don't you have these ones? No. That's her oh, that's grail. I'm taking a photo. <laughs> that's her okay, grail. My Snapchat people know. Well, dude, it's good to see it. Yeah, you too. I'm, I'm sure, sure we'll. We'll see you guys. Yeah, 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 for sure. We'll bump in again. Yeah, it's pleasure to see it. Yeah, yeah. You guys have fun. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got you won. I won. Yeah. So you had to purchase it or free? No, I did the slot machine and I won. Oh. The person took my camera. Was like, let me film you. And I'm like, what's going on? She was oh, so you got on camera? Yes. Yeah, she got on camera and it was weird because it was like a setup. Oh, so they knew it was about to hit. I think they did. And then they won and everybody was there at size 12. Damn. You probably have like a couple thousand dollar shoe right here. One of the first people in the world with this shoe. Really? Yeah, who else has it? Nobody. Nobody, bro. I don't even think the employees were wearing it, were they? No. So when I when I walked out and somebody said how much and I said three grand, that was a good price. So. Yes, 100%. I just, nothing I less no in my opinion. I had no clue and I was like three grand is the minimum. Yeah, I would say nothing less, bro. Thank you, man.
If you want to flip them today, man, just keep it outside of the box. People will come up to you. I promise you, you're gonna get just offers. Walk around I promise you. Top. You're gonna turn a picture with you, by the way. Yeah, last? let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, I gotta film this. How's everything? Damn, look at him. Flex on him. What's up? Flex on him. Hey. Oh, you guys hey, find anything? No, not yet, bro. I didn't even know they had that thrift con here. Yeah, they have like a whole set. Damn, that's crazy. That's why you came then. Oh, Sonic's here. Mina, go get a flick with him. Let's go. Let's go pull up on my boy Sonic real quick. Ready? Got it. Oh! Hey, baby, you good? You good? Oh, yeah. This, hey, look. This, this guy got the sign Travis's. He don't deserve those. Why? Because <laughs> I'm a hater. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a hater. <laughs> I'm trying to get in here, bro, but I don't want to wait in line, man. How can we finesse? How can we finesse? It, it looks dope because they actually make it like modern. It's like what I want to do with my brand. Hopefully one day, Good Days Gallery WWE collab will happen. They will happen. Oh my God, I can do my own entrance. I can do my own WWE entrance. Oh, I got to do it. I got to do it. Yo, this is so crazy. I want to do this so bad. Yeah! Is there a line? I want to do it. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, man, you good? Hi, how are you, man? Good. I'm chilling, chilling. What you get? Damn, you already got some shit? What's up, G? How are you, man? Long time no see. I know, bro. How's everything? You good? Chilling? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, what's up, dude? How, how, you how are you, man? You good? Chilling, chilling. What's up, G? How are you, man? Chilling. I just got him repainted. Really? Yeah, they were chipping. I got him repainted and the strap broke off, so. We had to put leather under to like glue it back. How many times have you like worn them? Uh, quite a few. And hey, so that's. Nice walk out. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I'm surprised the sole hasn't come off yet. You know? Nah, I mean, hopefully that happened to my my easy ones. Yeah. Yeah, and that one's hard because they don't make the midsoles hard to find. Yeah. So we'll see. I think some people do like the like the Air Revolution or whatever. Yeah, that's what it is. I thought it was a Jordan Three, but then my no, guy no. said it's not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you know more. You know what's yeah. the shoe. Yeah, yeah, oh, you know what I was gonna do? What? I was gonna buy the Wu Tang Dunks oh, and, yeah. and tweet you the picture to, tr to troll you back for that thing you did to me. So they got these Murakami slides. It's like a Murakami Easy slide. I don't know how comfortable they are, but I, I think I might grab one just to have. They're a little harder than I thought, but it's cool. I think it's like a good collector's piece. Oh, Mina's so excited. Is there a line? Oh man, please don't tell me there's a line. For the ones that I have. Good. You guys made it in? Yeah, Did you guys skip the line, right? You got yeah, to the yeah. secular line? Get around the All right. Pass. There you go. There you go. You guys should have had a booth. I know. about it. Next year? Yeah. I think next year I'll have one too. I've seen a couple booths that like weren't crazy and no one's there. Exactly. That's what she said. Yeah. Oh, I thought you... <laughs> no, that... <laughs> that, that too. That too. I'm actually proud of myself. There's good stuff. Under normal, normally, I would just like grab everything. Yeah. But... Also, I don't like waiting in lines. Call me bougie, but I had VIP. That's crazy. I had VIP, so I could have went in the lines earlier, but or got skipped the lines. But I just there was nothing that really caught my eye. But Vandy, Vandy, I want to go to Vandy see the Pokemon stuff, and then uh, I should have a shoe waiting for me in my hotel room after 4 p.m. So nice. that, that's another thing too. Finally, we got into the one booth that I was trying to get into. Stone Cold. Oh, the Rock. The Rock Tea. Yeah, I'm definitely getting two of the shirts. Finally purchasing my first item of Complex Con. We made it. We made it. All right, so we purchased something, so they gave us a coin, so we're gonna try the claw machine. If I don't get this, it's an L. Oh, it like literally hooked under. This is the one. Come on. Right on the head. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's go. I always get scared when it hits the top that's gonna fall. We got Randy Orton, let's go. Thank you, hey, Randy Orton. And I did his entrance too. Oh, you got that. Oh, W. Let's go. that I was looking forward to the most. Oh yeah, look at this. Dude, the denim is so sick. Even the jacket is hard. I feel like one of these, you should get this one. How's everything? Everything's good. Collab is sick. The collab is sick. Um, I came out, all the clothes are Do right you have here. the Vape one too or no? Yeah, you have it? Oh, I need that. Uh, XL, I, oh, actually Vape is run small, right? Uh, I think this is USA Bay. Okay, XL. Yeah. XL. Hey, shout out to this guy. Legend right here. You're the legend, man. No, no, no. It's you. Look at this. The Bape collab, the Pokemon collab. These are crazy. I don't know if I could pull, I don't know if I could pull this one off, 
<laughs> but this is hard. Yeah, I was telling her this would be perfect for like Japan, yeah, like yeah. you know, roam the streets. But killing it, brother. I, this one I got you. Killing it, yeah. Yeah, it's XL, okay. XL in this one, yeah. Look at the jacket too, bro. This is so tough. Yeah, the babe one, I need that. They even got the If and Co. This is a Ben Baller. You see that? Yeah, ben I Baller. Had one last year, but yeah, but it was a If and Co. Yeah. Ooh, this one's hard too. Charmander, right? That's Charmander, right? No, no, no. That's Dragonite. Dragonite. Oh, clip that. I don't deserve that. <laughs> I don't. De I don't deserve that shirt. This one is sick. Who is that? Uh, oh, starts with the M. Oh my God, get this guy out of the booth. It's one of the most Who popular of all time. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. There we go. I knew it was at the M, bro. This one's sick. Gengar. It says it on there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go for the 50. Oh. Wow. Oh. Imagine that would. That would have. That would have went in. Mina, do it. Let's see if Mina got it. You're so far. Go closer, go closer. All right, that was too easy. I got more points than you did. You did, you did. Hey, thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Okay, okay, perfect. Yeah, have a good day, brother. Enjoy, man. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Look at that. The furry Pikachu tote bag. I can put all my stuff in here. All right, guys, so it is officially day two of Complex Con, and we just checked into the VIP package room. Last night, it took them forever to put the mystery items in the room. Like, they didn't, I didn't come back into this room until 1 a.m., and that's when I saw everything was in here. So here it is, though. This is what came with the VIP package, and I'll basically explain everything that comes with the package, or I'll write it on the screen so you guys can let me know whether or not you think it was worth it. I personally think it was worth it. Some people got Jumpman Jacks, and some people got the unreleased Zoom Field Jacks, the Travis Scott training shoe. I was obviously hoping to get this one because this is the one I don't have. I have the Jumpman Jacks, but here they are, the white and brown colorway. A lot of people are not happy with this shoe. I personally think it's dope. It's uh, something different different from Travis and it's a different model from Travis and Jordan brand or Nike I guess is it a Jordan or is it a Nike it's a Nike okay it's not even a Jordan so this is a Nike sneaker Cactus Jack logo right there I really like the bottom because it has like different air units and they're all connected through like little tubes kind of like uh I forgot what LeBron did that, but it was a pretty cool silhouette. And little mesh netting, maybe that's what people don't like about it. And then you got the little cactus right there. So this was the mystery shoe. They also gave us a cacti hat, this camel one. I wish this was not a cacti hat. I wish it was just a regular Cactus Jack hat because I don't drink, so I'm not gonna promote a drink. So comment section, if you guys want this for free, I'll give it to one of you guys in the comments. Just leave a comment and in the comment, put your Instagram name and I'll pick one person, DM you and send you this right here because I don't want it. And then in the bag right here, you see we got the Complex Con, Cactus Con tote bag. This was a little underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping for like a t-shirt or a hoodie. And it came with the Utopia record. I guess that's pretty cool, Utopia record. I don't really, really need this. And then it came with the Utopia briefcase, which I'm also probably gonna get rid of because I don't need this, but this is pretty cool because it kind of reminds me of like the WWE money in the bank. Hold on, are you freaking, I couldn't open this last night. Well, they also gave us another book, like a small little Travis book. I didn't even open it, but I put it on the inside of this. But that's basically it. That was the Cactus Jack VIP experience. It comes with a VIP ticket, two-night hotel, all this stuff. Let me know, comment section, was it worth it? So this is the end of today's video. I am going to Complex Con right now. We're about to go there and film another video for day two. That will obviously be separate from this video. As far as all my pickups from Complex Con, we're leaving tonight. So when I go back home, I'm gonna show you guys everything we picked up from day one and day two. So that will be what we do next. So yeah, we're out of here. Vegas, we'll see you next time. Bro, look at this mess, all right? Look how much stuff we ended up getting on day two. So day two, I spent majority of the day shopping as well as doing interviews for another video that I'm dropping from Complex Con. So day one was basically just walking around, networking, checking out stuff, but not really doing too much shopping. But day two is when I really went ham. But yeah, we got a ton of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys everything we picked up from Pom Complex Con or Cactus Con, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, I also wanna talk about overall my opinion on this year's Complex Con versus previous 
previous years in Long Beach. And also, I don't know if I even told you guys this, but they offered me a booth this year, but I decided not to do it. So let's let's talk about everything. I kind of feel like the last few years at Long Beach kind of was getting stale. Nike wasn't a part of it. Adidas really didn't have anything crazy going on. I feel like change was needed. And I think them moving the convention to Vegas was a genius idea because it just brought a different energy. And not only was there things going on at the convention, but there was after parties, there was like private events, so much to do in the city itself versus Long Beach and LA in general. Like it's not really known to be a party city anymore like it used to be. So them moving to Vegas was genius. And then obviously having Travis brought an insane hype, all the collaborations. I think it was probably the best complex con since 2019, 2018, 2019. We haven't had something like that in a very long time. And like I mentioned, Complex did reach out to me and my brand, the Good Days Gallery, to have a booth this year. But after thinking about it, like I really was excited about that. And that's on my bucket list is to have the brand at a Complex Con. But after really sitting down and thinking about it, it just didn't make sense for us to do something this early on. We've only been a brand for three months. We launched in September. We don't have the manpower. We don't have the budget. And I feel like if I'm going to do my first Complex Con, we got to do it right with a crazy installation, maybe a crazy collaboration. So this year we decided not to do it. So thank you Complex Con for offering us the opportunity to be at the event. But I just feel like I wanted to go there this year, focus on the event itself and not on the brand. And <coughs> 2025 Complex Con Good Days Gallery will be in the building. All right, with all that being said, less talking. Let me show you guys everything we picked up. So I'm not going to show you guys the Travis stuff because I already showed you everything that I got in the hotel room itself. Obviously the trainers right here, a lot of people were hating on them, but I personally am happy with them. The VIP package included a lot of stuff. And if you really do the math, it all pretty much equals the amount we paid for, if not more. Yeah, in my opinion, it was worth it. So I don't regret it at all. Picked up two pairs of the Jumpman Jacks. I already have these, so... But yeah, I got an extra pair of these. So what I'm thinking is that for Black Friday this year, I'm planning to do something special for a drop. I'm not gonna be dropping any products on sale because the brand is new. So why would we discount our product? That doesn't make sense. And plus everything is pretty much sold out. So we don't even have product to discount. This year for Black Friday for my brand, The Good Days Gallery, I'm planning to do a re-release of one of the more popular shirts. So I'm gonna do a re-release of that T-shirt. And I'm also gonna be doing mystery shirts just because that's like the Black Friday thing is having like a mystery item. I think it's cool. What I'm thinking is anybody who orders something on Black Friday gets entered into a raffle and I'm gonna give away multiple pairs of shoes. I think I'll give away a pair of the Jumpman Jacks. I also have an extra pair of the Reverse Olive Travis Scotts and then I'll probably do like Black Cement 3s. I'll have more info on that soon, but just follow the Good Days Gallery Instagram account. Another sneaker we picked up were the Hidden NY Asics and honestly, this pair is super clean, man. And their installation at Complex Con was really dope. I was able to get in without waiting in line. Shout out to the homie who took me inside. And they even blessed me with this pair. Uh, I met actually the head of their marketing team. And one of the dudes actually was super cool. And he's like, I asked him if I could get in to film some content and they were super dope about it. They had a really cool installation where they like made it seem like it was an actual skit, like you were on another planet. With like Complex Con, you can't just have a regular booth. It's not like a, you know, like a sneaker convention where you just put up a table and you put shoes on the table. No, you gotta have something that grabs people's attentions. People who don't even know who you are as a brand, if they walk by and be like, yo, this booth is crazy. Let me check out what they have and what their brand is about you might turn them from just somebody walking by to a regular customer. So at the end of the day, Complex Con, even though it is about selling product as a brand, it should be looked at more of a billboard. It should be more as a, as a looked at as a marketing, as a marketing thing. You know what I mean? Get the person's attention, introduce your brand to people who have nothing, don't know anything about it. And hopefully they either buy something at the event or they stay tuned, follow you on, on social media, and then they purchase from you in the future. Gotta have the right mindset in this game, y'all. All right, this t-shirt right here, this is Ghetto Rodeo. This was given to me by some homies. They had a really cool booth too, or it looked like it was an old, like their grandma's house or something like that. I did get some, of course, this was one of the items that I really, really wanted. And it's the Travis Scott WWE Mankind collab. And then we also got the zip up hoodie from the same drop. It's got the Raw's logo, but then they covered it up with the upside down smiley face. But this one actually looks like it's a, I also got the Utopia Bazaar Cactus Plant Flea Market hoodie. Just hit the jackpot because it is in Vegas with the little smiley faces. Mina picked this up. This is a t-shirt from the Travis like soccer, Nike soccer area. They had a whole soccer uh, court. The back hit 
Got a little bit of vault green with the Utopia logo. And, and then one of my favorite booths at the whole thing was the WWE booth. I actually got to link up with Rey Mysterio. You know, grew up watching. I actually know his son who I've helped get a few pairs of shoes before with. And I have met Ray before. When I found out he was going to be here at ComplexCon, I texted him and I was like, yo, is it cool if we grab a pic if you have some, you know, a few minutes to spare? And he was like, yeah, pull up to the back of the booth. I'm going to be there at two o'clock. But yeah, anyway, they had a booth there and they did a collaboration with this brand Lloyd. Fire T. Look at this. The D Generation XT. And it's got like the thermal long sleeve. So it's not like actually layered. Super sick, man. I love stuff like this. Like, this is kind of what I want to do with my brand. Is, you know, get collaborations like that with like WWE, Marvel, like these companies that I grew up loving and make merch that looks vintage and is streetwear at the same time. And I also got this Kane T right here, which is really sick because it's kind of giving me like Hellstar vibe. Also pulled up to the Mitchell and S booth and they bless me with the mastermind collaboration this super crazy mastermind hockey jersey like kind of gives me like la kings vibes you got the mastermind you got the mastermind stitched into the back with the 24 like this is so tough man and then you know what i'm saying i was like but you know can i get the hat too so they bless me with the hat as well and then every complex con i gotta grab something from my homie vandy the pink this year he did a collaboration with pokemon and I'm not even a huge Pokemon fan like that. Like I used to collect the cards when I was a kid. But I had to show support and grab some of his pieces from his collaboration. So I bought this tee right here because it's got a nice little heavyweight like vintage look to it. Mina picked up this hoodie right here. It's got the classic Vandy flower logo. And then the back hit, you got the double... I'm assuming these aren't original Pikachus. These are like a different version of Pikachus. Like I sound like a like a bot. One t-shirt. So this, the other ones we paid for, but this one he blessed me with. This is the Bape collaboration that he did. Vandy the Pink Bape. And then it's got the baby Milo on the back with the little cheeseburger. Oh yeah, also from the Vandy booth, I got this furry Pikachu tote bag. They gave me this one right here. And then Sunday, I actually got to meet Central C, which is actually pretty crazy because Central C is literally one of my favorite artists right now. So he li literally took me to the Central C booth where he was doing a collaboration with the brand trap star and introduced me to him he looked literally he was like oh he, first thing he did was look at my sneakers and he's like oh the dbs like he pointed them out like he liked them so i guess he doesn't have the dbs Talked him for a bit he was asking me like where i where i live where i'm originally from all that like super dope super humble his team blessed us with a bunch of merch i forgot who it was who told us to grab stuff they literally gave me a bunch of stuff from the trap star central c collaboration like i haven't even opened this stuff yet so yeah as you guys can see we did a little bit of damage at complex con some of it we bought some of it we got blessed with but overall it was an amazing event i'm really happy i went because i was borderline thinking of not going because we were in dubai I'm really happy we did we met travis we met central c linked up with Rey Mysterio. We networked with a bunch of brands, made connections. And most importantly, I got inspired. Like I was looking at other booths, looking at other brands, and it motivated me to keep working hard and build my brand up, the Good Days Gallery, so that next year we can come correct for ComplexCon 2025. Hopefully you guys are watching this now, so next year when it does happen, y'all could be like, oh, I was there when he was talking about it, and now it's come to reality. So hopefully you guys will be in the building next year, and you'll be able to stop by and hopefully pick up whatever we're dropping then because i have no idea it might be a little too far out complex con takeover video that's a wrap thank you oh yeah and if you want this cacti hat i don't want this so if anybody wants this cacti hat yeah leave a comment write your instagram and i'll send one of you guys this all right so yeah make it happen